castles, those grandiose structures of stone in history stand as living reminders of our past. They embody power, mystery and architectural brilliance. These magnificent edifices scattered across the globe each tell a unique tale. They whisper stories of the kings and queens who once roamed their halls, the battles fought at their gates, and the common folk whose lives were shaped by their imposing presence. Their architectural design, an artful blend of form and function, is a testament to the ingenuity of the human mind. Each turret, moat and drawbridge was crafted with a purpose, serving both aesthetic and strategic roles. Beyond their stone walls and towering spires, castles harbor a wealth of history. They are the backdrop to countless legends, political intrigues and romantic tales that have fueled our collective imagination for centuries. Join us as we journey through time, exploring some of the most captivating castles ever built. Our journey begins in the 17th century at the magnificent Chateau de Versailles in France. This architectural wonder, once the heart of political power, has now become one of the world's major tourist destinations, attracting countless history buffs and art lovers every year. The Chateau de Versailles is a symbol of the absolute monarchy of the Ancien Régime. Now imagine walking through its opulent interiors where every room tells a story. From the king's state apartments to the queen's bedchamber, each space is a testament to the grandeur and extravagance of French royalty. But the jewel in its crown has to be the Hall of Mirrors, a dazzling spectacle of 17 mirror-clad arches reflecting 17 arcaded windows. And let's not forget the sprawling gardens, breathtaking in their design and scale. They are a living canvas of greenery, sculptures and fountains that echo the splendor of the palace interiors. From its dazzling hall of mirrors to its sprawling gardens, Chateau de Versailles is a testament to the grandeur of French royalty. Crossing the English Channel we find ourselves at Windsor Castle, a royal residence with a history spanning over 900 years. Nestled in the county of Berkshire, this castle is the oldest and largest inhabited castle in the world. Its grandeur is a testament to the power and prestige of the British monarchy, having served as a home to 39 monarchs. Windsor Castle is a marvel architecturally. It boasts a mix of Gothic, Victorian and Georgian styles, reflecting the changing tastes of the royals who lived there. The round tower, an iconic feature, pierces the sky, its flag signaling if the queen is in residence. The castle's expansive grounds include St. George's Chapel, a masterpiece of English perpendicular Gothic architecture, and the final resting place for ten sovereigns. Through wars, fires and renovations, Windsor Castle has stood resilient. Windsor Castle, with its imposing towers and expansive grounds, continues to stand as a symbol of British monarchy. Returning to France we visit the ethereal Mont Saint-Michel, a castle that seems to rise from the sea itself. This remarkable architectural achievement is perched on a rocky islet amidst vast sandbanks exposed to powerful tides. It's a sight that transcends time and space. Mont Saint-Michel's unique location wasn't just for the stunning views. Strategically, it was almost impregnable. During the Hundred Years' War, the English could never conquer it, despite repeated attempts. The castle's stout defensive walls and clever design were a formidable match for any would-be invaders. But it's not just a castle. Mont Saint-Michel has also been a place of pilgrimage since the Middle Ages. Its abbey, dedicated to the Archangel Saint Michael, is a spiritual beacon that has drawn the faithful for centuries. Despite its military history and religious significance, Mont Saint-Michel is more than the sum of its parts. It's a testament to human ingenuity and the enduring allure of the mysterious. Despite the tides of time, Mont Saint-Michel remains a breathtaking spectacle on the French coastline. In this rapid-fire round we'll explore three more castles each with its own unique charm and history. First up we have Bodium Castle located in East Sussex, England. This castle is a snapshot of the late medieval period. Built in the 14th century by Sir Edward Dallingrig, a former knight of Edward III, Bodium Castle was designed with defense in mind. With its symmetrical design, moat and battlements, it's the quintessential English castle. But don't be fooled by the imposing exterior, the interior is a testament to the comfort and luxury of the period, showcasing the wealth of its original owner. We then move on to the sunny shores of Ischia, a small volcanic island off the coast of Naples, Italy, where we find the awe-inspiring Castello Aragonese. This imposing fortress dates back to 474 BC and was primarily used as a defensive structure against pirates. Built on a volcanic rock, it's not just the castle that's impressive, but also its unique location. 
Over the centuries it has seen various transformations, from a royal residence to a prison, and now a bustling tourist attraction. Our final stop is in Slovakia, home to Spiss Castle, one of the largest castle complexes in Central Europe. The castle was built in the 12th century and occupies over four hectares. Spiss Castle is a perfect example of secular Romanesque architecture with its sprawling walls and towering keep. In its heyday, it served as a political, economic, and cultural center. Today it stands as a symbol of Slovakia's rich history, and in 1993, it was rightfully included in the UNESCO World Heritage List. From the moated beauty of Bodium Castle to the volcanic foundations of Castello Aragonese and the towering Spiss Castle, these fortresses captivate us with their stories. Next, we journey to the heart of Europe, where the sprawling Prague Castle overlooks the Czech capital. This grand structure dating back to the 9th century has been the seat of power for kings of Bohemia, Roman emperors, and presidents of Czechoslovakia and the Czech Republic. Its history is as varied and intricate as the architectural styles it showcases. Walking through the castle grounds, one can't help but marvel at the Romanesque, Gothic and Renaissance influences that are evident in the buildings. The St. Vitus Cathedral, for instance, is a stunning example of Gothic architecture, while the old royal palace features elements of Romanesque design. The castle's beauty is not just in its grandeur, but also in the details. The intricate carvings, the stunning stained glass windows, and the beautifully maintained gardens. Prague Castle, with its mix of architectural styles, stands as a testament to the city's rich and varied history. From the grandeur of Versailles to the ethereal beauty of Mont Saint-Michel, the regal Windsor Castle to the sprawling Prague Castle, we've journeyed through centuries and across continents. We've traversed the elegant halls of the Château de Versailles, a symbol of the absolute monarchy of the Ancien Regime in France, where opulence and grandeur echo in every corner. We've stood on the ramparts of Windsor Castle, the oldest and largest inhabited castle in the world, a fortress that embodies the rich history and heritage of the English monarchy. Our journey then took us to the enchanting island commune of Mont Saint-Michel. This architectural marvel, rising from the tidal island has served as a strategic fortification, a place of pilgrimage, and an inspiration to countless artists over the years. We then ventured into the heart of East Sussex, England, to the moated Bodium Castle, a perfect example of a late medieval moat castle. Across the seas in the mesmerizing waters of Ischia, Italy, we discovered the Castello Aragonese, a fortress with a history as dramatic as its location. The majestic Spiss Castle in Slovakia, one of the largest castle sites in Central Europe, took us back to a time of knights and battles, while the Prague Castle, the largest ancient castle in the world, gave us a peek into the rich cultural history of the Czech Republic. We also visited the majestic Kilkenny Castle in Ireland, a symbol of Norman occupation, and the fairy tale like Bojnes Castle in Slovakia, where history meets romance. Lastly, we found ourselves at Carcassonne in France, a fortified city that transports us back to the Middle Ages with its double walled fortifications and numerous watchtowers. These fortresses of stone and history, these castles, continue to captivate us with their grandeur, their stories, and their enduring presence in our world. Each castle with its unique features and historical significance stands as a testament to the past, a beacon of resilience, and a source of endless fascination.